containers are a way to put the information together in chunks so that people can see, so that students can see what goes together and how. Just like all the rest of the elements, but containers give you a way to give some personality and flavor to the sketch note. And it helps you, if you weren't good with organizing in advance, it helps you get there. I have a favorite and I often say, it reminds me of when I lived in a city and we wanted a lemonade stand and my mom would give us a sheet and we would write on the sheet, lemonade, five cents and string it up in between two trees. So this is the one I call stretched. I'm gonna put a couple of holes in it. And we're gonna pin it up. I often like to put a little dab of color in those so that it looks like it's gray. You can use just a frame. We'll do this one as a rectangle. We'll put another edge so it looks like a picture frame. We're going to hang it up. We can put a stamp. Kind of love this idea. I, I think stamps are collectible. <laughs> I just bought some Sesame Street stamps to mail some notes to my grandchildren. We're going to do a fancy one. This album. So these, I make believe I'm doing an ornate frame. I'm going to do a larger half circle in the middle of each edge. I'm going to do a small half circle next to each of them. And one on each corner. Students love this one. I do it as a circle or an oval. And when they connect the lines, it never ceases to amaze me that they all say, Ooh. A container is going to help you portray something else. If I write this, It's very different than a, uh, the banner. And I'm putting words in here so you can kind of remember what shape the container is, but you, you would normally not put those words in. I put my containers on my sketch notes after my sketch notes are done. Okay, it helps you organize the page. And you wouldn't use all these different ones on the same sketch note. You would choose a couple, you would maybe match it to the topic. I just have to do this for the teachers in the room. Here is a simple piece of lined paper. And I'm gonna do a little bitty piece of color at the top. If students resonate with this, because that's how they do their work. I mean, they do their work on lined paper, or you can have it be a notebook. Just add a spiral bound edge. And 
in all of those meetings that we're all in, here's the infamous flip chart. can tell me what this one is. Football, clipboard. So I think you get the idea that containers and frames, you could call them just frames, are a way to organize your page and give interest to specific chunks of information that go together. And there's lots of different ones we can do. A lot of times people just use things like a uh, speech bubble. If you want to indicate a conversation, draw another one near it. If you want to indicate a great idea, put a star around it. When you're thinking, it's more or less a cloud. 